Hello children, in the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of how to divide the whole into equal parts and how to write it in fractions. In this video, we will learn about some misconceptions related to it. One day, Babban and the fox got lost in the forest. They had wandered a lot, but they could not find anything to eat. Both of them got tired and sat in the shade of a tree. Just then, they found a chapati there. Both of them became very happy. Now, both of them decided to divide the chapati in two halves. The fox divided the chapati in two parts like this and gave one part to Babban. Can you tell if the fox really gave Babban half of the chapati? Exactly! The fox did not give half part to Babban. The fox did not divide the chapati into two equal parts. So, the portion that Babban got was not half of the chapati. Children, if any object or shape is divided into unequal parts, then we cannot write it as a fraction. Fractions are made only from equal parts. The fox cleverly ate the larger piece of chapati. Now, while searching for the way out, they found such a rectangle-shaped cake. The cake was quite small. Babban understood that the fox had divided the chapati in unequal parts. So, this time, he told the fox that she would have to make equal parts of the cake. The fox agreed. The fox split the cake into three equal parts in this way. The fox told Babban that she would eat two-thirds of the cake and Babban will eat one-third portion of the cake. When Babban could not understand, the fox wrote it in the form of a fraction. Children, the fox has divided the cake into three equal parts. But are they both getting equal amount of cake? The fox was once again fooling Babban. The fox has divided the cake into three equal parts. But Babban has got only one part, while the fox has got two parts. Hence, the fox has got more cake than Babban. The fox immediately ate two-thirds of the cake. Babban understood that the fox had once again made a fool of him. Now, while walking, they reached a marsh. Babban jumped up quickly and reached the other side of the marsh by hanging from one vine to the other. When the fox called out to him for help, Babban told her that when she finds the answer to how much is 2 by 0, then he will come to help her. Saying this, Babban left from there. Children, can we divide anything into zero parts? No. If there is an object, it will have at least one part. Because the whole of an object is equal to one part. Like, if we have this cake, we can write it as one upon one. Meaning, this whole cake is one part and we are taking that whole portion. And zero parts means there is no part. And when there is no part, then how can we take two parts from it? The fox finally had to pay for her cunningness. Children, in this video, we learned about some misconceptions related to dividing the whole into equal parts and how to write it in fractions.